Guys, good morning. We are in Cape Town, South Africa. We arrived last night. So, we are in a beautiful restaurant here. And we're gonna have some food. That's Rocio trying to struggle with her laptop because the table is completely full. Uh, this looks like uh, Mexican water, Rocio. It's, a, it's called a wrap. A wrap? Wrap. 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 But it feels like a Mexican uh, burrito. burrito. Exactly. Exactly, guys. And we have that. Also, I'm editing some videos for you. Please, guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. So, let me test uh, South African wrap. Hmm. I highly recommend. Hello. Oh, wow. Guys, this is the best view. Money can get you in Cape Town. Such a beautiful city. Hey, it's actually high. The mountains are actually high. Yeah. Guys, that is Table Mountain. I've been there before on my, I think, 30th birthday or the 29th. I was somewhere there on top. Do you feel like it feels like New York City? Okay. Me, I've been in New York. Oh, New York City. Downtown here feels like New York. These super old buildings, guys. Those who have been in New York, you can tell me if I'm lying. But down here, here, not up there. Here. Here. Feels like New York. Also, this other side is mountains. Wow. Can you see like clouds passing through the sun? With, with no sunglasses you can't see. Look, look here guys. It's like wear these sunglasses and see the sun. And oh, tell, I actually I can see it. You know? Yeah, but with sunglasses it's a different feeling. Yeah. Because you can see the clouds moving like this. Yes, yes, yes. You can see the clouds moving. Yeah, I'm able to see but with them without. But Put on the sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Just for the feeling. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Because mine has a different. Yeah. I can see both. Guys, these sunglasses were gifts from our brother Axel in Malawi. Actually, it said I could get a checkup, checkup here in South Africa. But before then, let's take some nice pictures from the top. Hey, Rosie, how do you feel? So they give you 180 days. No, 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 no. No, three months. 90 days. 90 days. So you can stay here and be like that guy over there and chill. And Table Mountain. Hey, Cape Town. For me, it's my favorite city in the world. Yes. And even right now, it's winter. You can imagine when it's summer, it's just bustling. Can you see the ocean over there? Yes. And so, this is the funny thing about Cape Town. You know, mostly places with ocean, they're supposed to be warm. No. <laughs> mostly, I said mostly. No. Mostly. Places. No. I wouldn't say mostly neither. Okay, guys. Mostly places with oceans are supposed to be warm because of the humidity of the area. Okay. Now, Cape Town, really puts that down because the mountain brings in a very cold breeze this is the table mountain we have we also have a sig signal signal hill over the other side also now you can't see it but we hope maybe the clouds will go down and you can see clear that so we have the signal hill over there and um Yeah, I think this is the parliament somewhere here. Guys, it's just beautiful. What? Guys, welcome to Cape Town. It's my second time here, so I feel I feel very blessed. And also this time I didn't need visa to come here. Thank God. Because initially getting a visa for Cape Town, or not Cape Town, for South Africa was like looking for an American visa or something, but now Kenyans can visit 
for sure. Wow, look down there. Sebo Mountain. Uh, even me, I'm a really a wild explorer. Guys, can you believe I've been in that mountain before? Three years ago, I guess. Super nice, super amazing. It's cold, like the breeze is just... I'm telling you guys, if you've been to New York, I swear these streets like this, where there is Empire State Building, gives you, it gives me that vibe. So guys, when I leave this view and actually go down in the streets and show you what to expect in the streets of Cape Town. Let's go. Wow, let's go to the streets of Cape Town. First is I want to get some pap here because actually if you're in South Africa, having pap, which is ugali, is one of the best things you can get. And now this is also to show you that this lift is so fast. I don't know why it is. Yeah, number four. We are going we are going down. So we're going down guys. Guys, we're in the streets of Cape Town and now we're gonna go to a place called Long Street. My friend, Long Street is this way. Okay, straight up. Thank you. All right. Guys, we are downtown Cape Town, South Africa. We wanna go to Long Street. It's a very famous street where actually people get food and also they get uh, I'm told you can even change money you know yesterday I told you when we arrived here we had some money from Namibia and uh, oh, there's even Taj Cape Town like Taj Mahal so anyway look how Cape Town is clean and beautiful and and super old school big stones whoa guys look at that whoa. for sure they say nigeria is the giant of africa so far i've not been to nigeria i'll say i'll still prefer cape town my first time when i was here i mentioned it like cape town is my favorite city and up to today still is my favorite city probably in the world one thing is our own city like it's an african city so that means no matter what this is home then number two is honestly it's a very beautiful city like look at that i remember i think it was my 30th birthday i celebrated it here and i was in in Tebo Mountain, the mountain I just showed you. So let's go. Let's go see. And please let me know what you think about Cape Town, South Africa. It's a very beautiful, cold wind is blowing left, right, center. Now we are looking for uh, what you call Long Street. Maybe I should use my Google Maps. <sighs> they say it could be dangerous, but like any other city, you have to be careful. So I'm checking. I'm checking my maps. Uh, okay, this is called. long street last time i lived in this street but it is very close 102 minutes walk okay 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 hmm. 
uh, shows how we go and we have a so we're okay and it's showing me red not close we can pass here we can pass but we have to be careful so we've been waiting whoa what a beautiful city guys look at this beautiful 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 gives me the vibes of actually downtown New York if you're in New York if you've been in New York something like this would easily pass for New York you know and uh, also it gives me the vibe of Latin America some Latin American countries are seriously built like this look at the cars ah. Cape Town a heaven on earth it's quite built the infrastructure very good and at the same time also South Africa is a giant in Africa with its minerals, wide network of roads and things like that and also one thing I also love about South Africa is it is a mixed race it's called a rainbow nation it's a mixed race nation and sometimes great countries are like that they are like mixed and because of that diversity one thing I don't know if these are working or not. Maybe we use that. Here we go. Let's go. Because I see it's red over there. What? Wow. Last time I was also in South Africa, I was able to visit the Cape of Good Hope. And also I visited the southernmost part of Africa. I mean in the continent of Africa. The last point if you see the map of Africa, like right down there. Right now we are right down. But now the farthest farthest like the last land block we visited and uh, I I showed uh, some of you guys actually what it is. Food is smelling so probably but it's cold. So let's see. Long street should be. Let me see from my maps. We are getting lost. Okay. Excuse me, madam. Hello. Where is the street? Long street. Right straight up. Okay. Okay. Then. Okay. Just the next street. Okay. So we have to be careful because they're coming. Okay. Hey guys, I'm struggling here with my... Look at this architecture. Huh. They are removing vote for... This is like an election, election time here. But they are... They are removing the election process. Sorry, I'm talking to my camera. Oh, you talk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also, yeah, I was asking you about the long street. Serious painting going on. And also today, straight on that is Boca, right? Straight on that is Boca. All right. No. But you get down there. Yeah. Why don't you ask that? Like All right. That? Okay. Because I'm new here too. I'm okay. So sorry. Okay. Um, no problem. I don't okay. know, but I'm familiar with the street. Like. Okay. <laughs> so later we'll go right there, straight, because that's a very popular neighborhood. It's called Bokap. So let's go this way. Hi uh, guys. 
maybe the idea is just to get lost. The more you get lost, the more you familiarize yourself with the streets. You can also, maybe someone will be asking me, Maro, why can't you just easily use Google Map? Sometimes also it's good to interact with the locals and feel their feeling. Are they like warm, cold? Yeah, but South Africa is a serious economy, guys. You can't, you can't even compare it with It's when I feel like sometimes it's better than even Europe because you first feel at home. It's a different feeling when you feel at home. Guys, we're still in the streets of uh, Cape Town. This is the street should be this one 100% because I've been here before and this is it right up 100% this is the street yeah this is it how does it say here loop loop street mm. oh, dee -dee -dee -dee. now this is totally confusing Let's go to the next one and see. But I have a feeling this is the street. Can you organize me bread? No, no, my God. Okay. Long street. Hey, everybody urinating in the street here. Holland House. You know Holland? So Holland plus another place makes the Amsterdam makes the uh, Netherlands that we know. Holland. This is the street we are here. Guys we finally found Long Street. Now we will be looking for a food to eat. Food, it, whoa, expensive car being parked here. Hey. Another expensive one. Let me see this side. Okay, now we are looking for uh, food. There's a restaurant I ever ate here, very good one. I hope they still have it. And I remember in this street also there was like a Kenyan restaurant. This street at night is always full, big parties and things like that. So there's a mosque right behind us. As look at those old Dutch houses. Looks like you're filming police. Sorry? Looks like you're filming police. Oh. We were pointing and there was a group of them. Me, I'm like Dutch police, not police, I mean Dutch houses. So let's go this way. I realize there are police everywhere. Food. I think they were more like traffic office. Oh. Ah. So, guys, let's see if we get some food somewhere. Here. Look at these Dutch houses. 1895. Very nice, cozy areas. Uh, huh. I think where we want to go is somewhere in front of us here where we want to find a place to eat. I think it's this one, Mama Africa. I think I've been here before and there was a Kenyan restaurant. These roads you have to be careful. Yeah. Guys, we're in the long streets. Looking for a place to eat. I ate here one time. And now I'm trying to find that place. Thank you, ma'am. 
There are beautiful mountains on the top. Look, they have some food there. Um, looks more Indian. Let's go and see this. I'm Africa. I feel it's there. I once ate here some very good food, but now I can't even know where this place is. So guys, we finally found the restaurant. It's called Mama Africa. And they have nearly all types of food from Congolese, from all Zimbabwean, Zambian, Ugandan, Kenyan, Malawian, Nigerian, Ghanaian. Uh, even Nigerian. I don't know if they have other parts here also. <laughs> too much plates. It's you and yourself to decide. I want to have some really authentic African food. Yes, let's see what we have here. Okra and like the one they're having over there. And the chicken. Yes, yeah, chicken. With the fufu? Yeah, but pap, right? Yes. Yes, for food. <clears throat> Guys, the waiter just told me they are offering the most common food here is crocodile. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing for my vlog. You wanna say hello? Uh, okay. Yes. Hi, my name is Safi. Safi? Yes. So we're in Mama Africa. Yes. And you just told me like the most common food here is crocodile. Crocodile? Yes. Oh my god. The meat is only from the tail. The meat is from the tail? Yes. Oh, so you want to have some crocodile mm -hmm. today? <laughs> it's your one and one opportunity. All right, I'll have the... Okra, chicken and the pap. Pap, yes. Okay. I'm still choosing. Give me a few minutes, please. Okay. okay. Guys, I'm looking at the menu. You can actually eat even worms here. I'm seeing here there is Zimbabwean mo Mopane worm. Like... That is crazy. I know, I've been to places, but again, this restaurant is mixing me up. You, you need some Mopane warm? <laughs> okay. Oh, so here, no spoons are allowed. No spoons. <laughs> Me, I'm from the village. This is my lifestyle. Maybe yeah. for her. <laughs> so, guys, here in Mama Africa, one of the things you will experience is eating with your hands. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll change my hand in a minute. I'm, I'm doing a small vlog for myself. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Tell gravy. So this is your appetizer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, we just received an appetizer here in Mama Africa restaurant. Steam bread. And oxtail gravy. I have no idea what that means, but it's actually warm. For sure, it should be like that. Very good. Oh, guys, this is how the food comes here. Yes, for sure. In also Congo, you have uh, this called pap. Chicken? Yes, we call it pap also in Congo. Oh, for us we call it ugali. You're from okay, Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. Yes. And then we have the okra also. Okra, yes. wow. Nice. Look at that. This is Rocio's kebab, guys. It comes dingling like that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. Enjoy. All right. So guys, I ordered some okra. This is very slippery. And also we have uh, right there ugali. Yeah, they call it pap. And chicken. Next time I'll have goat and something like that. 
All right, guys, let me enjoy and receive your gods. Peace. So guys, we ended up paying 750, Ogal is 55, Okra 55, Still Water, Omela High, Goat Kebab, Cripsy Mushroom, wow. 200 and what? Mm. Okay. Alright, you're welcome. So guys, we just came from uh, Mama Africa restaurant. We wanna get some water, but before then, maybe we walk around. We're kind of lost now, but uh, maybe we should have followed that road going up. But still, this one will lead us somewhere. Guys, it's chilly here. It's winter, and it's in July, June. So in South Africa, you can tell from the trees how things look like. Uh, let's go this way. There's a church somewhere we can go and see. Like it's gloomy from above. But nice, beautiful restaurants and hotels are everywhere. Wow. Look at that. Just beautiful. It's just beautiful, guys. So, guys, we're gonna show you the streets, uh, how they look like here. Yeah. And we want to try going up and up. It's quite cold here. And I wanted a place to change money. Maybe I'll have to ask some local guy. Within today and tomorrow, we have to change money. So I can uh, change my money. I have some Namibian dollar. Wow, look at that guys. This is the most famous street in Cape Town, guys. Super famous. Guys, there's a mountain up there. We wanna walk going up there. This is very famous street. When I first came to Cape Town, I stayed in that building over there. So at least I know these zones. I'm back to the same point. I don't know how many years ago. So let's wait to cross the road. It must be a quick one because you can tell <sighs> just like that to get here. There's a 
McDonald's. Some drinks here. It's already looking kind of dark, but they have really nice architecture. First class, guys. Even a tree with a building. What an amazing architecture. Cape Town I walk through Cape Town 2024 I feels like so this area is also we have clubs so somebody asking me Maru how do I arrive there it's very easy go to to the main street here which is party street it's called the long street then you stretch up so you can meet all the types of things see so if you keep walking up you go to the table mountain you've seen something Ah, nice car. You'll be surprised. It's made in South Africa also. Because I realized that also South Africa produces a lot and a lot of cars. And it's cheaper buying a car here than importing it from Japan because my friend told me if you try to get a car from Japan through uh, South Africa they make it so expensive the import duties that you just consider buying a car right here so this is a normal regular day winter day in Cape Town South Africa there are very cozy places you can chill and relax but you should be willing to pay for it okay and we realize there's a lot of motorbikes in places where they are like pizza and mcdonald's because these guys here those are delivery people they like to hang around where things like nando's are so that if you make an order they can easily easily deliver i mean this type of bikes you see there are very many here having a walk through Cape Town guys I'll be giving you some statistics like the population etc of the city so guys as we walk around the beautiful streets of uh, Cape Town actually most of these hotels or restaurants you have to book 
kind of like an appointment before you go in at the same time also the population is close to 5 million it's 4.98 as I make this video so maybe in a few years it will be 5 million you know in such cities always you have to be careful with your staff things like that Up, up, that you can't see now, it's super cloudy right there. This is the famous Table Mountain. So you have to be careful when you think that car. Good car wants to. And you realize a lot of people urinate in the streets actually, that's one thing I've seen. But look at this old school house let me take a good picture of it that's <sighs> amazing Guys, we're still exploring the streets of uh, Cape Town. Generally, we're just doing a random walk in the streets to show you or to give you just a feeling of streets in Cape Town. They're kind of sloppy like this, the way you see. And they even have checkers here. So, just walking, guys. Maybe we catch an Uber to Wits or a waterfront, something like that. They also have collectivos, which is public transport, the way you see. This is their shopping mall, it's a quite famous mall. It's been here for years. South Africa would easily knock out some European countries easy in terms of the way it's developed and the coziness of the place though sometimes crime now is the big issue here yeah I think this is the maximum we can come not unless you want us to keep walking up but I've never been up there but we can walk if you want These are their combis. Let's cross. See there. What's this guy? So there are mountains all over. That's a mountain running all over. So the city is like in a valley. And uh, I was explaining earlier, and this hotel is built like a ship if you're very keen to notice. It's not really a hotel, it's more everything inside plus even apartments. And it feels very Dutch. If you've been to Amsterdam, you must have seen something like this. You know? And their clothes, even red carpets you can easily get or find. It's as much as your money can stretch. And that's one thing I always tell people Africa is not dying It's as much as your money can stretch <laughs> If it stretches more You get more If it stretches little You get little It's a beautiful restaurant over this other side oh, it Looks so uh, quite Cute like it's white and uh, quite beautiful. I'll take a picture of it. 
I think on this side, this could be our end. Guys, we got an Uber. We want to go to a waterfront area. Quite popular here in Cape Town. So that's where we're heading. I want you also to enjoy some front views of me sitting here. But the main one is that side. Right the in front. That second one. Guys, tomorrow we'll explore this neighborhood here. It's very popular in South Africa, especially this neighborhood. It's called Bow Cup. So tomorrow we will explore it. There's a nice house that people need to come to take pictures. Oh, right in front here. Yeah. <laughs> the traffic light. Yeah. yeah. Oh, where this traffic light yeah, is. Take right. There's okay. nice houses here. People, they come to get picture for that house. Okay. Oh right to higher regions. This hotel is also in Zimbabwe. It's the one we saw, the big one in Zimbabwe if you followed us for a while. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just take Guys, we are coming to waterfront. off in a minute show you the beautiful waterfront wow. so guys we just arrived in waterfront let's take you around Guys, we're in the waterfront mall and you can literally find everything here. I remember I bought my sister a laptop here last time I was in this area. I don't do that. I don't do that. Come on, Papa. Don't do that. As we are planning to catch this bridge up here, I don't even know how to actually go there. But let's walk this way and see if we can get. Uh... I think it will be to the next area or. Yeah, otherwise we can just branch here and see the view. Oh, guys. 
it is cold I'm wearing like two three clothes and even my trousers I have two guys <laughs> and that is the wind you can feel the wind so you can also do this here get your tickets so let's just go up this way and see life in Cape Town South Africa I love the fact that these guys have serious infrastructure like they have built their home and they don't need to go anywhere else that's the beauty of building your home say hello to my people oh yes okay man thank you man. <laughs> all right oh i thought it was someone waiting for us to cross it was my fan wow this is where we are all right guys every day meeting my fans in the streets super good so rocio you want to walk away you can go that way but it's cold or if you want a picture this is the ocean guys it's quite windy you can tell from the other side super windy but at the same time we have people running with all this cold like this person over here keeping feet is non-negotiable whether in winter actually mostly people practice in winter so that they can have beautiful bodies in the summer you know they call it that summer body it is said that the body of the summer you build it on the winter the body the body on the, of the summer you build it during the winter okay so guys this is a very popular spot if you've never been to south africa and you want to just see like a place you can shop you can do a lot of things buy electronics you come to a place called waterfront even you can do helicopter rides from right here so let's go inside and see what what to see Hey, but it's freezing cold just to mention you can get wi-fi also so you can it is cold so inside is warm when people step out there like ah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let me see if I can get some electronic, probably uh, phone. My phone has cracked screens. And also we can walk and see if we can find some furnitures, especially in this mall. But this is how it looks like, guys. It smells very good. You may think they are burning incense here. It smells pretty well. Probably <laughs> yes, because I see a lot of uh, shops. It's winter time, so they're selling lots of jackets. For a thousand rand, you get the jacket. H&M is here, and all the big brands. Maybe we go that way because here. 
we could go this way because on the other side is ending we wanted also to check furniture's see if uh, now furniture as you see here mm. very clean South Africa South Africa for sure I'll give it like number one in Africa especially I love its roads and also stable economy though as anywhere else in the world you'll always find places where other people are suffering others are making it so it's quite normal let's go welcome to a new world guys you'll find a lot of performance sometimes cruise ship land on the other side but not really cruise ship but ship Can you feel that? So this is a live band, they play music. Look at the design of these houses they give you a vibe of a country house somewhere in like Finland uh, maybe we walk on okay let me walk here We have some lions here. A lot of performance here, guys. So one thing is you can't actually film these people like that. You have to ensure you pay them something. Oh, there's a choir over there. Guys, it's evening time and we're just talking in the waterfront. It's a very popular area to be, especially here in Cape Town and generally in South Africa. It's kind of one of those places you have to visit. It's a very calm place, lots of security guards from and also from here you can see the city. It's quite beautiful that way. I think you can see that. Yeah, it seems they have a hot dog. I don't know why people like to eat those foods, but looks such a huge house sells all African art. You can see from the windows they have like small African art over there. Wow, you can imagine how people invest. Yeah. 
this has the feeling of Argentina. There's a there is a bridge in Argentina called Puente de las Mujeres. Looks kinda exactly like this. Wow. But uh, it gives you the vibe of a ship docking. Look at this guys. The moon is out. And Mr. Penguin, you know. So, in this part of South Africa, penguins are very common. I know most of you guys know the penguins of Madagascar, but if you watch me or if you've been watching me for a very long time, you realize actually I have sh I've taken it to a beach in South Africa where they have penguins. Yes. So that's a uh, kind of national bird in the southern parts of Africa. Oh, see, that's, that's a penguin. So, it feels good. Let me take a video for my Instagram. Kindly, guys, follow me on Instagram. You know, let me, it's cold, but. Uh, Maru is out here working three hard showing you places like this one here, Cape Town Wow, you know those clouds over there are moving right there, they are moving actually Puente de las Mujeres and then we walk to the other side a very well built country super nice this is Cape Town it's my favorite city actually uh, also I have a youtuber called Casey Neister he also believes this is his favorite city Cape Town fisheries that's our fish market that's where we are I don't know if this is European or Asian. Quite confusing, but I'll go with Asian. So they have a place for kids to play. You can also dine on the other side. Summer, this place is just popping. Like, lots and lots of things going on. Gives you the European vibe. Now, kind of some famous staircases here. Oh, they have a diamond museum. Probably this one here. Let's see what they have to say right in front. They have some words that they're saying like this it's like they give you some uh, facts about stuff and keep going and going and going if you're very new here maybe then you may get lost you know. so also one thing I have to mention is South Africa produces a lot of diamonds and gold but this side is actually diamonds so that being said they have even a diamond museum if you have time you can actually go and check it out and look at their houses how they are built they give you a, they give you a very old european or american infrastructure 
Probably that's why South Africa wants to join the BRICS. You know, sometimes very powerful countries want to to do their own things. Wow, it's big. Cape Town. It's quite cold, so when you come here, at least have a jacket. It doesn't have to be blue, but at least have a jacket, guys. It's in the evening. Cape Town. Tomorrow we'll visit here. This is also a very popular spot to visit. So it seems also here you can get local here we go this way you can get a local uh, taxi that can drop you here so that if you are if you're not like a visitor like us you don't have to take the uber because it could be or it is more expensive but if you take local taxi combis that's how others call it matatus they are right there even buses pro tours is here also okay. i think once we walk that way we'll be out of uh, the water waterfront look at that house over there and then you have the beautiful view right here you guys you're still exploring uh this beautiful uh area of the waterfront south africa and here are helicopters helicopter flights 2200 rand 12 minutes it takes you around captain stadium lion's head clifton beach camp bay 12 apostles 20 minutes 10 more minutes actually eight more minutes you add another 1000 south african brand coming soon at a mall let's for now let's enjoy this glass house look at this completely glass Some people say my house has glass. It has nothing. Look at what real glass looks like. Completely. But it's different when you when you are doing a vacation and traveling. That's one thing people don't understand. Traveling and vacation are two different things. Vacation is work, 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 work. Put your money somewhere and then go and enjoy. Traveling is how can I do this every day? So, Victoria Wolf right in front of us. Huh? This guy is not feeling cold, not. He's not real. He's not real. You know, there are those guys who stand like that. This is like the Gibsons. Hey. More helicopter rides. Guys, apart from helicopters, they also have cruise. Like, you can actually cruise with this to see some sunsets and ETC. But for now, it's too cold. Let's go inside here. So, guys, we are trying to get Rocio. Check if they take cashless or cash. They were trying to get Rocio a hot chocolate. But their shops literally saying cashless it's either you use a card or something also that's one thing i don't understand because if you pay with your card all the time there are some extra charges and also i don't like exposing my card left right center i like to get money from an atm then spend that money even it's easy for me to track uh, how much money i've spent in a day but with ca a card it's just so let's see if rocio gets something here it's a very nice place 
Look at this. Uh, let me see if I see about something. Okay. So we were lucky to get at this place a cashless area. Not cashless, cash area. The next shop right there says cashless. Where we are staying is also cashless. So that actually makes you wonder what is really the plan? So I have money in my pocket and still can't, can't, not really can't afford, but can't have what I'm seeing. Hmm. Okay, guys, what do you think about that? Would you prefer cashful or cashless? I'm just making a joke about the cashful, but the mall is big, several areas. And also we've seen we've seen some stones that I think I've seen them somewhere and also we may do a tour of how diamonds diamonds are actually created like diamond rings and something like that yes so when in South Africa actually you feel super international you see everybody here from people from Asia people from everywhere you'll actually see them around and old young you can see that wow she so gets her coffee Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.